Today we are going through 100 male poses. Now I have my buddy Carlin here, he's a good friend of mine. What's up? He's a model and a content creator as well himself. These 100 poses that we're capturing today, we're going to actually be putting them into the ultimate photography cheat sheet. Now, this is an ebook I've been working on for the past year or so now, and this is kind of the final component of it. I like the idea of having something in your pocket that has 100 poses, so you can just whip out on a long shoot and get re-inspired and have something there to just be able to flick through really quickly and re-inspire you to shoot some more throughout the day. So let's get stuck into the shoot. Let's do it, let's do it. Cool. Rolling, fading. All right, action. All right, first pose. Oh, nice, like that hand in the pocket. Just tethering today because it makes it a bit easier to go through the images. Oh, that's nice, Carlin. We're just kind of going through Carlin's set of moves first, and then I'll direct him on what I want a bit later on. Actually, can you just move that way just a little bit? Yeah. Something that I usually talk about when we're, when we're talking about male poses is hard lines. So you'll see in this, for example, Carlin's kind of got these hard line shapes, quite jagged, where like when we talk for female posing, a lot more S curves, a bit more like elegant looking, where for male, we want it to be quite boxy. It looks a little bit more masculine. I feel like I've been challenged now, <laughs> not keeping it stable. Well, we'll have a little look through just so we're not doubling up because I feel like that's going to be the hardest thing. Might do that one one more time. Look at us smashing through this. The hard part is like me making sure that it's, um, they're all different. <laughs> you can do more. Like... You could do ones like where you put your hand in your hair as well. Yeah. So maybe we'll just smash out a few close up ones like this where you can just sort of move in a few different ways close up. Yep. Or if we do a few more wide ones, we can do them after. We'll bring a chair in later. Yeah. Yeah, cool. What about hands out sort yeah, of thing yeah, like that? Like, expressive. yeah, you could do some, yeah, some poses like that or something. Cool. Do that one more time. Yeah, keep your hands down now. That, stay there. That's nice. Yeah, that one's all right. Yeah. Just gonna star a couple of these. It might help me to give an idea of how many we've done so far too. I'll just keep counting them. One, two, three, four. They're about 35 so far. Yep. We're moving through pretty quick, that's good. Throw, throw a top on, yeah. All right, mixing it up with the collar now. I'm just kind of close for that and then I'll do a wide of it. And an accessory out of an overshirt can actually give you something to hold on to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an overshirt or an oversized jacket or something like that. Yep, got that. Need a bit more cable length. That's better. I mean, posing as well, like, you got to take light into consideration as well. So with your model, for example, the key light's coming from this angle onto Carlin. He's well aware of that. Um, so for him to turn his head complete opposite way, it could create a nice moody look, but for this particular shoot where we want things to be well lit so that it's clear for the audience to see, it's making, making sure that like key features are facing the light source as well. So, you know, I guess with posing, take into consideration light because light is also key. Three, two, one. I like everything else. I think if your head was a little bit more up, yeah. <laughs> Can do it all the more time. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, I need some inspo again. So as you can see, it's quite easy when you have someone who you're shooting with to come up with a lot of poses or unique different angles. And this is part of the photography process. It's been collaborative. I always say this like, Collaboration is key with creative work. More importantly, if you're shooting with a friend or you're trying to build your portfolio and you're generally shooting with someone that doesn't know how to pose or doesn't know what looks good on them, then it's up to you as a photographer to guide them through that. So I feel like this is really important for that. And I feel like this is where this ebook will just come into a life of its own. Um, especially if you're a beginner, uh, we go through some little tips and tricks. And then at the end of it, we're gonna have a posing part for 100 male poses and 100 female poses. So yeah, I think this book's gonna be awesome for you to get hands on. We'll just keep shooting away and hopefully you're getting inspired to go out and get some shots with your friends and do some cool stuff like this. I mean, if you punch in on that, because some of this can be really distracting. Yeah, maybe I'll just go tighter on your face for that particular shot. Yeah, let's try that. That looks cool. I was covered a bit too much. A bit tighter definitely helps. Lift your hand a little higher there, and a little bit higher. Move it out a little bit more, down a little bit. Maybe like both hands now, like that. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. 
It does get the, the ideas across anyway. The rule in um, video, it doesn't necessarily apply to photography. You know, shoot shadow side. That doesn't necessarily apply in photography. Like, it's obviously moodier to have the, the shadowing on the face and stuff, but obviously we're shooting light side. Yeah, well, if this is commercial, I would probably be throwing like a bit more bounce board on your dark side because I don't want as much contrast in there. Like, I don't want it to be so moody and dark on that side. Yep. Probably because I'm more trying to like make it feel energetic and bright. But for this, I kind of like that there's shadow. I like using just the one light source because yeah. It showcases the shadows and like, how that pose is helping. Yeah. But shooting shadow side is always going to look more like cinematic, yeah. even in photography. The same rules apply. I feel like my I got better with lighting from doing videography yeah. because you're always seek, like seeking to film something that's natural looking. Yeah. You're trying to emulate well, what would this scene naturally look like so how can we use light to make it look natural but bring a bit of oomph to it to make it look a little bit unique and different so yeah shooting shadow side still looks better but for the, the, this case it's trying to just get the it's just like it sets a mood for me. it just gives you more dimension and now that light's not too heavily bright so those highlights aren't it's it's not it's not it's not blowing anything so it looks pretty good and natural on you i forgot where we're up to now 36 37 38 about 60. We'll use the stool first. I oh, like the like sort of lean back sort of look thing. Now nah, do your foot out wide again. You got it touching the ground, like let you do all your ones you can think of first and then sit side onto it now, like a side on profile. Oh yeah, that's cool. Looking straight down here. I see even just sitting a bit more comfortably, like just looking directly side on. Pop off the stool and like lean against the stool sort of thing, like lean on it and <laughs> don't fall over. Move back a bit there, one more time there. Yeah, does the job. What if we got you sitting on it and I'll get underneath your shoe and we do that. Yeah, I like that how, you, how your, like your eyes were in between your thumb there. So if you move out a little bit more, yep, perfect. They're just sitting on the chairs, but more like a stool. 110. Hey, we're getting the 110s now. Yeah, so we're about 115. Just stay there, I'll get a close up of that too. While you've got that like edge there, I may as well get like a few just poses up top, like portraits. Oh, that chair's not good for it though. <laughs> Put your feet at the front. I just, I can just see you just like fly, <laughs> flying backwards. Don't fall over. All right, three, two, one. I think we have gone through about 130 poses or so now. So we'll have to select it down to make sure that there's the best of the best. Creme de la crop. So how you say? Creme de la creme? Creme de la crop? Creme de la crap? <laughs> Only the best get in. Man, I need, really need to learn that phrase. I really oh, need to learn oh, that phrase. No, it's creme de la crop. Cool. No, cream of the crop. Oh, the, same. the creme de la creme is like creme de la creme, the cream of the crop. Creme de la creme. Yeah, so 160 or so, we're gonna cut them down to about 100 and then we'll throw them into the ebook. We shot for two hours and obviously we're trying to smash through about 100 poses or whatever. You get to a point where the poses feel a bit stale and you need to like bring something new to the table. I just feel like this is just gonna be the perfect tool. Yeah, and just throwing in a prop. We threw it yeah. in a shirt and we got another 20 yeah. photos. So mixing it up, throwing in props, that definitely helps. Cool, man. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. It was good. It was good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video i hope you gained some valuable knowledge and insight in this video and are inspired to go out and shoot because that's the most important thing anyway so if you did enjoy this video please make sure you subscribe to our channel and give the video a like and also just leave us a comment i say this every week whatever you want to see i'm here to help I'm here to serve you so guys we'll see you in the next one